going to be about my father's business. I had this revelation that the genesis of my issues was me. So I was working on me. I gave my heart to ministry, serving my king. And here he come. And I was like, um, no, no more of these skirt chasing, time taking, grassy staking, salvation faking, let's hang out, but we ain't really dating, ignorant cats. I'd had enough of that. So I evaded his glances and gave him no chances to play me. However, he was not concerned with my ignores and intentionally closed doors. He pursued me with intentional clarity and gentle tenacity. This insistence of his that he was my Solomon and I was his Shulamite was met with my dead face to conceal my delight. Because inwardly, I was a cacophony of fear. I kept thinking, could this be it? Could this be him? Could love finally be here? And he was so sure. And I had to admit, this didn't feel like before. This felt like Christ was knocking at my door. So I prayed about this. And I was still afraid of this. But I unlocked the door and let him in, inch by inch. And this was so much more than I had hoped for. This was real to the core. This was an invitation. This was relationship. This was a ministry and a gift. Not that happy ever after euphoric trip. This was to know and be known, to love and be loved. With all its chaos, beauty, wonder, and grit. And I got excited because this felt like him. This felt true. This would not let me abuse, and this would not abuse. This was what I waited for. This was love to life. This time, this love, this was real, and this was all my